What is going on, fellow Gaslanders? It's your boy Foe coming at you with another video. Now, what I wanna want to go over today is first of all, I wanted to address a problem. I want to cut it back, get serious in one second. I want to touch on a problem that's been going on the Gaslands Facebook pages, and I'm concerned. I'm concerned for me. I'm concerned for you guys, and I'm concerned for everybody that comes in contact with Gaslands. And I thought I'd bring it up now so we could address this topic. I am making way too many cars for this game. That's all I want to do is build cars for Gaslands. I don't know what it is. Listen, I'm playing 40K at the moment. I'm playing Shade Spire. I'm playing other tabletop games. I'm playing card games. And I want to spend the majority of my time converting cars for this little game we call Gaslands. I'm having a total blast with the game, having a great time, and I know I'm not the only one, okay? I'm on the Facebook page, okay? I know what's up. I see what you guys are doing. I see what everybody's working with, okay? I'm not the only one who's hooked into this game who's hooked into burning out cars left and right. We got people on there popping out cars like it's going out of style. But today I wanna to talk about Michigan, okay? Now that I've been playing the game for a little bit, I'm starting to get into like the whole sponsorship side of the game, which is cool because it brings a little bit of flavor to the cars that you're working on. And it adds a little bit of extra that you could convert your cars to be a part of the sponsorships that are out there, which is pretty cool. And Michigan is the Russian inventors. You know, they're burning out the crazy electrical contraptions. They're zapping everybody on the track into submission. Okay, so these cars are wild. These cars have a little bit of cool technology to them, and I'm really digging the Flayer Rover. Now, I'm gonna touch on, eventually, all of the sponsorships. And I plan on making a video, doing a couple of cars from each sponsorship. I think that's a really great idea. But today, it's all about Michigan, baby. It's all about zapping people into oblivion on the track. Now, when I go about doing a new build, what I like to do is, I like to go through my cars. I got a bunch of cars in blisters. I got way too many cars in blisters. Just like a lot of people I know. But also, I have a bin of cars, which is the cars that my kids play with. And that's what actually got me into Gaslands because my son walked up to me. He's like, Dad, can we make up a game to go along with the Hot Wheels and the Matchbox cars? So I said, listen, you know, because he knows I'm, I'm a big gamer. I, I'm always playing games with, with the kids. So we're always making up rules for other things. Like we had a Pokemon game. We had a couple of other games which we made up on the fly. And it was fun for that day or two. So he's like, can we make up a game for these matchbox cars. I said, you know what? Let me jump online. Let me see if there's any cool system out there. And guess what? I came across Gaslands. And that's how I got hooked into this game. And then I started talking to friends about it. And they're like, oh yeah, I've been, you know, following that game, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it just caught on like wildfire. So this is where I'm at. I'm converting cars like a maniac. I'm addicted to it, I'm having a blast. So getting back to this car, so I went through the bin of open cars we have, and I found this in the box. I'm not sure what the name of this car is. I know it's from Hot Wheels, and it's an El Camino. Obviously, we can see that. But it has this cool, like, turbocharged booster in the back, which looks pretty Michigan to me. So I'm gonna roll with this, since we got a lot of the work done for us, and I'm gonna see what else I could do. <laughs> now what I wanted to do is, I wanted to keep the build simple. I didn't feel like ripping this car open and doing all that jazz. And I'm actually thinking about just painting over the original paint job. Now, I know there's a lot of debate back and forth. Do you strip the paint? Do you not strip the paint? But let me tell you, on my cars, it depends. I do both. 
um, when I feel like it, I'll strip a couple of cards at once and then I'll go back and I'll work on them and I'll paint them. Now, not every car here has been stripped, you know, so it goes back and forth. As long as you take some Tester's Dull Coat and spray over your paint job, you should be good. But you do lose a little bit of detail, like there's some detail in here which I'm sure if I took off the paint, you'd be able to see this a little better, but I have ways of getting in there with the paintbrush and bringing out the detail regardless. So, I don't know, it's, it's back and forth. Like this one I totally stripped, and you could see a lot of the edges are like sharper, like in like the, the uh, door and the trunk, and you do get some sharper detail. You know, so it depends. I go back and forth. I, I When I paint, I could sometimes paint in that detail. So when I don't feel like ripping a car open, I kind of wanted to do a fast build on this guy. Since a lot of the work is done, I like the body shape. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about, this is like, supposed to be like 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 a microchip back. I'm not really digging that. It's kind of kind of goofy to me. I might just cut that off. And so what I did was I clipped off the tires. And I went through my bits box because I had a couple of ideas already in my head. So I kind of knew what bits I was looking for. I knew what I was going in there for. And I'll tell you what I found. So, you know, you got your typical plastic card. You got your double diamond plate plastic card here, which I use on some of my, my builds. I got regular plastic card. I'm going to make armor and stuff like that. I got some plastic piping which we're gonna do some, some, some work with that. But what I was really going for was, I have some Games Workshop um, Cities of Death buildings that came with some cool pieces. Now, I forgot exactly where these came from, if they did come from Cities of Death, I'm not sure. They came with another um, set. I'm not positive, but I love these coils. So you got these like electric coils, I'm digging them. I want to incorporate those onto the build of the car. So I pulled out a couple of those. I found this cool battery pack, which I think is going to be the turret. So I'm going to cut this and I'm planning on taking this radar dish and, you know, combining it with this battery pack and making some kind of cool turret. And that's going to be the turret of the weapon. Then, you know, you got these like cable bundles which I thought would be good for this type of build. And, you know, of course you gotta have some spikes. So that's all gonna be incorporated. So I like the bits that I grabbed out. I found this thing, which I kinda wanna incorporate onto like the, wind, the windshield. Come up with a cool, cool look, maybe flip it over. Gotta find a way to try and blend that in, but I'm kinda digging that idea. And, I found a bunch of these lamp posts. Now these lamp posts, I was looking could make like electromagnetic tires. Like I'm gonna kind of stick these into the, the um, wheel wells and kind of use them as like a hover car and make these like kind of like electromagnetic tires. I think that's gonna be rad. So I got a couple of good ideas here. I just want to implement it onto the build. I found some like wire, which if I'm doing all this electrical stuff, I'm gonna need wire. So I got the cables, the wire. I already said what I want to do with the weapons, got my plastic card. So we're all set to start building this bad boy. So I'm gonna set the camera up a little bit differently. I'm gonna come back at you and we're gonna do some building. Chopping up some of these bits that we're gonna incorporate in this build. So we're gonna take these coils and we're gonna cut into these. What I wanna do is, I just wanna get these coils. I don't need the Aquila, just, I just want the coils because I wanna take the coils and maybe put them a couple on, on the hood sticking out to the sides, maybe one or two in the back. We're gonna cut a couple of them off. I'm gonna really just test out, you know, and place them to see what we think is gonna be the best fit for them. It's good that they, put, they cut pretty easily. Take all four of them and see how that looks. Now, my favorite part about getting into these builds 
or one of my favorite parts is going through the bit box. Because the bit box, you know, it's always cool coming across things that you forgot you had. And then you start to get more ideas for like other builds as you come across certain bits. And no matter how many times I go through my bit box, I always find stuff that I could use. So now we got these coils. So I got four of them there. And for the turret, I'm gonna cut another coil off because I had an idea for the turret. So I'm gonna cut this bad boy off right there. And I was thinking about just gluing this coil to the middle of this radar dish. And that would be like the focal point of the electric blast. Then I'm gonna put it onto this flat surface right here. So we'll take off some of the mold lines, get in there, get that weapon going. We're not gonna do this handle, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that handle off, but that's definitely a good bit to have. Like I'll be using this handle on other builds, like put it on a cover for a hatch or something. So I'll just put that off to the side. I don't, I try not to throw most much away. You know, I keep everything. I have a little pile here with bodies and stuff that I haven't been using. Got a bunch of tires. And just, you know, I go through it every once in a while when I'm working on a new build. So I got the coils. I'm thinking about taking the coils, tossing them on the hood, like so. Put one there, put two there on that side. Maybe put them on like an angle. So I'm gonna put them just like that. So I'll put four of them. So I think that's gonna be where we're gonna be rocking with this bad boy right here. I think that's gonna look pretty good. Especially after I paint them up and they have like electric going through them and they're kind of glowing. I wanna do a lot of original source lighting on this. Like I try to throw in some source lighting on certain builds like with the headlights to make them look, you know, like the lights on, like to throw some shadow effects, to get, like the lighting. You know, I think the lighting, like little lights and stuff, brings a little bit of life to the models. You know, and it gives something for the eye to catch. Because a lot of this, a lot of the stuff that we work on for Gaslands, it always looks just very grimy and dingy. And I like to add stuff to every model that pops and catches the eye. So like on this, I put the one headlight with some source lighting and the little lights on top of here. And I just think it's like this, the paint job was pretty drab, but just those little points just to make it pop. Now I'm not saying you have to do it with every car, because you could, you know, this car didn't really need it too much because it was pretty bright with the yellows and reds. But I added it a little bit anyway, because I love those back lights. I didn't want to get rid of them. I just love the row of lights, so I wanted to keep that. You know, on this one, well, the thing looks like a cat, so that's like pretty eye-catching. But I did the windshield like that blue. I feel like the windshield pops. This gives you something for your eye to catch on to. And I do that with a lot of my stuff. Like on this guy, I added the lighting on the C4 packets, and I gave this little blue on the, on the, like the reflected glass for the lights on top of the buggy. Just little things that your eye could catch. I like to try and add that to a lot of stuff I do. So you gotta get a lot of that on here because we're gonna be working with a lot of electricity and stuff, so that's gonna be cool. Now for these, I wanna put these like under here. So I don't wanna cut too much of this off because I, I like the wires. I like the wires and I like the cable, so I don't wanna lose too much of that. So I'm gonna cut it right about here. And then cut it right underneath where it right underneath where like there's some cable that comes down into like that little <clears throat> bracket so and maybe it may put some more wire coming out so we're gonna kind of have those like like this and I like the wire so you got a lot of the wire in there so that's gonna add to the overall effect I think that's gonna be pretty cool put that in the front put them in the back now I'm thinking maybe I should do two in the back so we'll do one in the front on each side, and then two in the back. So 
maybe do something like cram two in there, put like one there, kind of like something like this effect for the back. Yeah, I think that that's kind of cool. So I have two in the back and then one in the front. So I'm digging that, so I got the coils there. Now for the weapon, cut off the handle. I'm gonna glue this guy onto here. So let's do that now, because I'm kind of sold on the turret. I'm kind of enjoying it. I got some Army Painter plastic glue. But you know what? Just in case we change our mind, I think I'm just gonna use some super glue. Just in case. Gorilla glue is usually the super glue that I like to use. And this bottle is about to be done. So we have to shake down some of it. Put a little dab right there. Like I said, this, I should have stored this bottle upside down to get it out a little bit faster. There's glue in there, come on. I'm not gonna waste my glue. There you go. It's got a little dot of glue. You don't need much of super glue. So you got this side, you got the little eagle thing with some, that could be like lights. I could paint some lights in there. If I flip it, I still got some lights. I got this cool, I like that better than the Aquila. So we're gonna put that on top instead. Got so far. Center it a little better. I'm a little bit of a stickler. Alright, so we got that. I'm liking that. And then we're gonna put a little dot right in the center. That's what I want to do. I want to make sure it's pretty flat. So we're going to take a flat file and then just run it across. That usually gets it pretty flat. So going across a flat surface. I want to glue this to the center. Oh, I'm digging this. There we go. That's going to be our turret for the most part. So I'm digging the turret. Got the coil for the focal point. And that's going to be really cool. And then for this, for the plate we said we want to do on the hood, I'm going to have to build some plastic card around. This isn't going to fit quite as nice as I was like. So I'm probably going to cover this with some plastic card or some diamond plating and then get this to go on the front like so. I might actually cut it in half so I could get it better going across the whole windshield. Alright, so I feel like we got a good layout. So we got the parts we need. Um, we have a good direction of where we're going. And I'm gonna get back to you guys when I have most of the stuff on the car. I'll, I'll run through what I did to get there, and from here we got a we got a good a good direction of where this build's gonna go. All right, see you in a little bit. What's going on, peeps? And we're done. We got the Michigan vehicle all together. We got the bits placed in all the right places. And I'm gonna go through what I did to get it to this point. I'm gonna call this bad boy the Arcaster. Cause we're gonna be throwing arcs of electricity all over the whole entire track. So what, what I did here was, I took all those little coils that I told you I was gonna place on the hood, and I put some plastic card down so I could put them down on like an angle to give them this wicked look. And I love the way the arc coils look angled on the hood like that. Kinda of almost like it gives you like that that like engine vibe, but since you know the car is based on electricity, I got the coils coming out, which looks pretty cool. That piece I was looking to put onto the windshield 
fits perfect on the windshield. I had to cut it up a little bit and I put on a piece of plastic card and I got that looking just the way I want it. As for the weapon, what I love about it is it could basically represent most of the weapons that Michigan has on the list. Now, Thumper is a little bit of a, of a stretch because that's like a sound-based weapon and this kind of looks like it can maybe, you know, shoot sonic waves. But what it really looks like, it looks like it arcs electricity. So I want to be using it as the arc lightning projector. And who doesn't want to blast a bolt of electricity across the track? Hit one car, then maybe hit another car, then hit another one, possibly hit five, six, seven vehicles. Or you can hit one or two. Whatever it is, it's going to be a blast. You're, you're hitting all those vehicles. They're all taking six by six worth of damage. You could potentially do a lot of damage with this thing. But what this also could represent, also this weapon, it looks like it could actually be the kinetic super booster. So you're going to shoot at a vehicle and you're going to jump that vehicle up a bunch of gears. Now it has two uses. You can hit one of your vehicles with it, boost it up, get it to jump up gears, and have it jump more into the lead or even take the lead from somebody else. Or if you see somebody coming around that track and they're about to hit a hard turn, you hit them with the booster and now you jump them up to fifth to sixth gear and you take away most of their template options, probably sending them spiraling into a concrete wall in fifth to sixth gear. So they're gonna take a ton of damage and they're probably gonna wind up blowing up all over the track. So that's why I wanted to make a Michigan vehicle because you, you could do super fun, cool stuff like that. And I've been wanting to make a Michigan vehicle for a while. And I'm happy I finally got one to put on the track. Now for the wheel wells, I put in those lamp, those lamp lenses or lamp post lenses, and I think it looks great. And these are probably gonna represent tank tracks. So if I wanna pay for, for tank tracks, this definitely looks like it could represent tank tracks. You know, since you're basically hovering above the track, you're gonna avoid all of the hard terrain and hazardous terrain, because you're just gonna float right over it, baby. So that's, that looks good there. And I love how the wires, which came as part of the lamp post, just look great. They kind of bend into the car. It looks like they're wired in. Just an overall fantastic aesthetic to the overall vehicle. I think it looks great. Then, you know, it's not a Gaslands vehicle. I mean, I, I can't help myself, but I love putting spiky bits on my Gaslands vehicles. And this one is no different. So I threw a couple of blades on the front just to give it that more sinister look. And I'm glad I didn't cut off this back bumper piece. That kind of looks like a microchip, you know, port or like some kind of like plug. And I'm glad I didn't cut it off, because in the beginning I hated it. I didn't like the way it looked. But after I put the whole car together, the overall look of the vehicle now, it just fits perfectly. It, it blends right in, it looks great, it adds to the overall look of the vehicle, and I'm glad I kept it. So that's cool. And since the car I picked had these electrical boosters in the back, if you want to pay the extra point, give yourself some like turbo boosters, go right ahead. Now, is it worth paying for rocket boosters? I don't know, I've had mixed results. There are times it won me the game, and there are times it didn't do much for me. So, it all really depends on what kind of game or what you're looking to do with the vehicle. But you know, sometimes when you have a weapon that only gets to shoot really one time, you know, you shoot the weapon once, then you could try and take the lead with the boosters. I think that's a pretty good mix. Then I took some plastic card and I added some extra armor on the doors. I put some diamond plating on the, on the windows with some vision holes. And that kind of rounded out the overall look of like a Gaslands vehicle that's gonna be going through combat. But I'm really happy with it. I, I love the way it turned out. You got the arc cast that's gonna be hitting a track near you pretty soon. Now, I'm gonna be painting this bad boy. And this video, you know, it's going a little bit long, so I'm gonna do a part two. I'm gonna paint up the vehicle. I'm gonna do a little step-by-step -step painting, maybe, you know, sh show how to do some like shading, things like that. So I'm definitely gonna 
look out for next video where I'm going to be doing most of the painting for this bad boy. And then we're going to see a finished product of it being totally painted. So have good games, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Hit the subscribe button. Do me a favor. If you have any ideas or anything you want to talk about, jump in the comments, start a conversation, and maybe we'll turn that conversation into another video. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.